Hello, Air Signs. Welcome to your reading for mid-November. Uh, I'm going to be doing your reading for November 16th through the 30th. We're going to find out what uh, what's in store for you for the last two weeks. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're all going to come to my YouTube live on Sunday, November 18th at 6 p.m. Eastern. I really hope to get some of your questions and uh, if there's any healing that can come forth for you, we'd love to offer that. It's a really great opportunity to get some clarity on things, some understanding and support if you need it. Heck, support is so important these days, isn't it? So let's find out what's in store for my air signs, Aquarius, Gemini, Libras. This is Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, okay? So, general reading can apply to everyone. I do my best to interpret the cards as generally as I can, to include as much as I can. And of course, if something doesn't resonate with you, please do not try to make it fit. Let it go, move on. It was not for you. And also, guys, if you want your own personal reading, I do do personal tarot readings, um, 30 minute. All the information is in the description below, okay? Angels, guides, please, all messages coming through, may they serve air signs to their highest good, their highest light only. Thank you very much. What do air need to know? Air need to know. You really want me to shuffle these cards. This one came out in uh, Water Signs. Hanging Man. All right, you guys are hanging out. You're in limbo. You are in a transition phase, or at least that's how the reading is starting right now. Knight of Cups, an offer of love, an offer of joy, a really beautiful offer has come in. Whoa. Okay, let me just pull another card. I see where this is going. I don't know if it's because you've been waiting for this offer to come in or you attracted this offer in because you weren't pushing. You kind of let go and let universe do its thing. Let's find out. Huh, maybe not. <laughs> Eight of Pentacles, doing the work, working on something hard. Okay, no, now I see what's going on. Okay, you've been kind of in this hanging out phase. You've been resting, you're in this transition. And in the month, the last half of November, there's something's gonna come in, an offer that you're gonna really like. Um, it's gonna be something that really um, stimulates your heart. It doesn't necessarily mean this is love, it's just that it's going to really, um, it's going to really stimulate you in the heart space. So whatever this offer is, it's going to make you want to work for it. Um, or it's going to bring you an offer that allows you to start doing some work. If you've been waiting to get to work on something, this might be the offer you were waiting for. Um, uh, interesting. So, okay, for someone or some of you, they just asked me to tell you, you're going to be working in different dimensions over the last um, 
two weeks of November. I don't know who that's for or if it's for a couple of you, but uh, they told me these um, coins are like the dimensions. And the reason why I'm saying that is because this has to do with the earthly planes. And so because they're all up in the air, um, I'm just picking up that the, it's the dimensions. Um, so <laughs> this offer that's coming in for you is, going to bring you into other dimensions to do your work. Oh, that's interesting. Thank you. I love it when they bring that clarity through. What's this? Oh. Okay. Eight of swords. Interesting energy to come in right now. So this is an energy where you start blocking um, your, your limiting yourself. Everything that you believe is limiting you is all in your head. So uh, they're just telling me to tell you, don't let that happen. Don't let this happen. Um, you have the ability to walk out of these imprisoned swords. There's a lot of space between them. They're really, it's really not a prison at all. And you can take the blindfold off and see what you need to see. Um, don't hide from it anymore. Mm. And also, oh, that's interesting. They just told me it's time to get up off your knees. So I don't know who that's for, but it's time to get up off your knees. Okay, let's find out what else is coming out. I like this. I like this air signs. This is fun energy. This is very interesting. Okay. What else do my air signs need to know for the last two weeks of November? Two cards. Nine of Wands, Queen of Cups. So, have the strength. You have the strength to go on. You have the strength to go on with this um, nine of wands here. And um, so it's, like, it's coming after the eight of swords. So you're gonna get up off your knees, whoever you are out there, you're gonna get up off your knees because you know you have the strength to go on and you're going to channel this energy, this queen of cups. Queen of cups is very, very nurturing, very, um, Okay. This is your intuition. This is your um, devotion to the fifth dimensional heart structure is what I'm being told. So um, working in the other dimensions, uh, working in the higher dimensions, so it's like I'm, everything's backwards for me on the screen. So <laughs> bear with me. Um, working in the higher dimensions, so that you can really, um, really open up your gifts of intuition, really channel your intuitive self. Um, and you got a lot of cup energy here, which is interesting. Like the energy, the, the strong energy of this reading is the cups. So, while you do your work in the higher realms, the higher dimensions, because whatever offer that's coming in, where you've been hanging out, taking your time, it's time to get off your knees. It's time to break free of the blocks that are holding you back. You are making these blocks up in your head. These blocks actually do not exist. I just want you air signs to know that. And you have the ability to go into these higher realms and higher dimensions and do the gifted work that you are meant to be doing right now. And you're being asked to channel that strength 
to um, move forward, to keep going, because this is the final energy that you get to. This is the energy that you are um, going to be channeling. This is uh, what's going to um, manifest out of all of that. So really beautiful. Gosh, all the readings have been great. I'm really um, excited. So I'm gonna get some more clarity here. So let's go a little deeper and just get a little bit more information and see what's going on here. Let's find out. What can you tell us about this hanging man? What other information do we need to know? Do the air signs need to know about this hanging man? Oh, and if I didn't tell, I can't remember if I said it, so I just want to say, I just want to make sure everyone knows the sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Um, I don't know if I said it before. My mind is going. Um, when I do all these tarot card readings back to back, my energy just gets so like caught up in um, up there <laughs> that I forget what I've said down here, if that makes any sense. So um, I apologize for that. All right, let's find out. Oh my gosh, I can't keep these cards. Okay. Uh -huh. Two cards came out, so I'm gonna show them for you. Knight of Coins, okay, in reverse. And Eight of Cups. So you're finally gonna be moving on from this transition, okay? You're finally gonna be moving on. And amen to that because I'm being told it's about time. <laughs> it's about time. So um, you may have been lulling around a little longer than you should have. And hey, we all do it. I'm, I've known to procrastinate or maybe just be a little scared to take a leap of faith to maybe take that next step that I'm not so sure about. Um, and it's because this Knight of Coins is in reverse. And so you're You've been feeling kind of unstable. You've been feeling um, not grounded. You've been just a little not as confident as in yourself that you're used to. And so that's kind of what's been holding you back a little bit. But you're moving on from it. You, you're, you're, you're moving on from it. So that's good. So that's kind of what this whole hanging man was about. Um, Kind of lack of confidence in something, um, not feeling completely grounded, maybe just unsure of something, uncertainty. You know, as an earth sign myself, I love to know what's next. I, I just want to know, like, just let, let me know, like, so I just know what's going to be happening. I want to be prepared. I want to be prepared. And I just feel like you don't know what's coming next and you're not prepared. And that's the beauty of it. That's the beauty of it right now. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, air signs. Oh, okay. This was your um, Knight of Cups. Ten of Coins. Beautiful abundance is coming in. Beautiful abundance. This Knight of Cups is bringing in some awesome offer. So whatever this offer of love is, I mean, it is just full and abundant and beautiful. Um, that's just a confirmation for that. And um, it could have something to do with the, um, the earthly realm. So because it's coins, it doesn't necessarily mean it's money. It could be money. It could be money coming in. And hey, nothing wrong with that. You know, it's part of uh, living here in 3D. It's, um, it's just one, one aspect of our, our abundance. And there's many ways of being abundant. So it also could mean um, hmm, okay. You're unlocking you're really, you're getting the keys to unlock the other dimensions. That's what I was just told. So some of you this offer coming in is helping you to unlock your access to the higher dimensions. Also, this offer that's coming in could also have to do with anything within the physical. So whatever in your heart is physical, like of importance 
physically, but like from a place of the heart. Um, like for instance, for me, um, my home is such an important part of me feeling safe and abundant. Like I just, I love, I'm a homebody. And so when my home is like cozy and it's um, mine, like it just, like I, it's, it's decorated the way I want, it's clean, it's, um, it's just got the energy, like uh, the energy is exactly how I want it. Like that is so important so to have the roots and the stability of home. That's very, very. And so when I have that, I feel very, very abundant. So think of something in your life that in the physical really um, sings to you in your heart, like really makes you feel abundant inside. That's what's kind of going on with this offer. Okay. Tell us about this eight of pentacles that people are going to be working on. What are the air signs working on now? What has this offer sparked some passion to do some work, to put focus and energy into? Oh yeah, you guys are going to put a lot of energy into this. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Page of Swords in reverse is giving us more information about this Eight of Pentacles. Okay. When the Page of Swords is upright, it can often mean a, um, can often mean a delayed offer, but it's not coming in now but okay the two swords here on the cushion so you were um caught up in your head over um two choices two ideas perhaps two projects um, and you've already, you've now made the choice and you've been able to release it. So you've made a choice here and that's why you've been able to put all your focus into it because you're not feeding both choices at the same time. Like you finally let one go and you, now you can go put all your focus into this. Tell me about this Eight of Swords. Why is Eight of Swords here other than someone clearly is getting up off their knees? I'm sorry, they just keep wanting me to say that. I, I don't know why. Clearly, whoever it is, take that message, please. <laughs> take that message. Um, Yes, stop crippling yourself, they said. Stop crippling yourself. It's unnecessary. You are supported. You are supported. And clearly you are supported because this abundant offer is coming in. Okay. What else about this Eight of Swords? Ah, Seven of Wands in reverse. Yeah. So stop being defensive. Stop, stop trying to defend the past. Um, stop defending a past choice. So it's just time to walk away. It's just time to, to get out of this state, um, release it, release it because it's telling you that you don't need to anymore. You don't need whatever it is that you felt like you had to defend or guard against or be protective over. You don't need to, it's, it's fine. Like everything's fine. So you can, you can let it go. Um, now what else do we have to say about this kind of cups? And the nine of wands, king of cups, nine of wands energy. What, what do we have? 
or air signs. Interesting, very interesting. Okay, three of swords here. Okay, so thank you. This card, I'm not going to read it the way most tarot cards readers would read it because it's not applicable in this, this particular situation. And I'm gonna tell you why. Because it doesn't match the energy here. I mean, yes, okay, you've been up in something over your head and you've had to like feel protective over it or needing to defend it or something. But you know you're releasing. That's really not the strong energy here on this board. It's really not. And so take a look at this card. And this three of swords, all you see in this picture is one eye and you see a heart and you see a tear connecting the eye and the heart together. Queen of Cups, water energy. Your intuition is going to be joining your third eye and your heart together. This is very important. This is um, if you're doing the work in the higher realms, um, you're going to be able to bring in a beautiful connection through your feelings, um, through your intuition, and you're going to really start to connect the third eye chakra with your heart chakra and really utilize that to bring in the um, information that you need, the guidance that you need, and also um, mm, the empowerment that you uh, are being asked to project display right now. Because this energy uh, you're being asked to release and this is the energy that they're being, they're showing you, you are. And so connecting third eye and heart is going to help you reach that. Okay. What advice, is there any specific advice that you would like to give the and my air signs for the last half of November, November 16th through the 30th? Nice. And a wands. Oops. Queen of Cups again. Well, isn't that nice? Got a nice confirmation there. The burden is over. The burden, the cycle of burdening that you've been on, that nine of wands that you 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 have the curse over, it ends. It ends. Because you get to be your queen of cups. I'll show you these cards in a second. I just want to get one more. I like to do three cards for this. Last card. Last card for my air signs. Oh, yes. Oh, I love it. Okay. First card. Queen of Cups. No, oh, sorry. First card was the Ten of Wands. Um, that cycle, that, oh gosh, how cool is that? You guys, oh, look at this. This card and this card came out together, okay? It came out from behind the Queen of Cups, which tells me that it's behind. This one, okay, like, is also, sorry, behind the Queen of Cups, okay? like. This one was the first one that came out and then this one on top. So ah, it's just like confirming like you guys, this, whatever this is, like you're moving on from, you're going to start channeling this beautiful intuitive energy and hello, Empress, Empress, love her, love her, love the Empress. She is really in her power. She is 
manifesting things. She's attracting things to you because why? Because you're using this intuition because you're connecting your third eye with your heart right now. Okay. So you are able to channel this Empress energy and you are able to sit there pretty and looking great. And that applies to all my men out there too. Okay. All my air males out there, this applies to you as well. You're channeling your Empress energy. Um, and we all have that divine feminine, divine masculine. And she is, she is just boss here okay she is boss she doesn't need to work to bring things to her they just come and they are attracted to her like a magnet so this is what your energy is working you towards this is what the cards really want me to drive home to you that you have this within you this is your energy so please 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 do not stay here any longer do not allow this to get in your way Okay, so that is your reading for the last two weeks of November. If you guys want your own personal reading, I offer those. Again, I can't even remember what I said at the beginning of the video, so I'm going to say it again. Um, and I hope I see you guys all on the Sunday uh, live stream, November 18th, 6 p.m. Eastern. All right, everyone, my air signs, I love you. Have a great November, and I will see you soon.